today, what we are going to do is use the ingredients which are available in the local grocery stores and cook a nice Indian meal. Yes, the spices and herbs which are available in the local supermarket, I'm going to use the same spices and then go ahead and make nice Indian entrees. We start off with an um, appetizer. You, I'm sure you must have heard about this, known as samosa. Now samosa is a very time consuming entree that you have to knead the floor, then make the filling, deep fry it. It takes a long time. And who has the time to do all that, right? So today I'm going to show you a shortcut technique with um, puff pastry sheets. Well, you get it in the frozen section and uh, it's just puff pastry sheet which you go ahead and let it thaw in the mic uh, not in the microwave just on the countertop and then make the filling well the filling can be made out of any vegetables or any meat today I've taken potatoes I've baked potatoes and I have grated them the little masala or a spice blend which I'm going to add is uh, some garlic garlic which I have uh, I'm going to grate it right into it well if you want you can add garlic powder too but I don't have to tell you garlic the fresh garlic is better than garlic powder right okay after garlic I'm going to add some cumin seeds cumin seeds uh, about a teaspoon or so of cumin seeds and some lime juice and just to give a good flavoring I'm going to add some cilantro just go ahead and chop it Cilantro has a wonderful aroma. Try adding it to your soups. It gives a totally different flavor. And then a little bit of salt and sugar. Go ahead, blend it well. I think hand does a better job. So use your hand to mix it well. You can go ahead and add green chili paste if you like or there's a special spice blend called as garam masala. You can add garam masala. But I found this recipe which is a favorite amongst kids. My children and their friends love this recipe. So I thought I'll share this recipe with you. After you're done with this, keep it aside. After we have the filling, now let's go ahead and uh, talk about the cover that we need to make that uh, appetizer. So I, I don't even open the, um, the puff pastry sheet. I just use it like this, like the way it is, three uh, rolls. And I put some flour, dry flour, so it doesn't stick. And then just go ahead and roll it. I'm trying to do is make it into a thin sheet. If it starts sticking to your rolling pin, add some dry flour to it. Okay, after it gets to a good size of maybe about three times the size of that roll that you had. Go ahead, take a knife and make into little squares here. Then add the filling.
and go ahead and make it into a nice triangle. Seal the edge as well so that it doesn't open up when it's baked. Just a little pressure does the trick. So here you go. Another one. And when it's done, to give a nice sheen to it, um, you can either put egg white or you can put milk. Just put, uh, take a brush and just brush it with milk. After this is done, go ahead, put it in the oven and let it bake till it's golden brown. And I would recommend using the regular oven, not a toaster oven, because it doesn't brown well. As for some reason, the toaster oven doesn't do justice for this pastry, puff pastry. So uh, use a regular oven when you're baking this. I have some already made ahead of time. Here, if you don't seal them well, they open up like this. So remember, when you're uh, putting pressure at the edges to seal it, see that it is sealed well, otherwise they open up like this. Okay, uh, the thing that I serve with the samosa is ketchup. Yes, regular plain tomato ketchup. It tastes good. Now if you are in the mood of making chutneys, please go ahead and do so. A mint chutney will taste good with this too. In one of my cooking shows, I think I have I mentioned cilantro chutney. Any chutney will do good. But as a child, I used to love to eat it with ketchup. So go ahead and try it with tomato ketchup. Now, I like to add a little bit of garnish to everything that I cook and I serve. So uh, what I'm going to do is going to uh, take some spring onions. going to take a spring onion like so and give a little cut here. See that it stands up so that it, if you want to arrange it on the table, on the plate, you can do. And then make little wedges like this, not all the way through, just about three-fourths of it. Do you get what I'm trying to do? I'm just cutting it so that it just has a little bit of cuts in it like this. And then put it in ice cold water. After you put it in ice cold water, it opens up. And again, a little more touch of, a, should I say, a gourmet touch, add a little bit of yellow color and red color to the water. So what you get is something like this. A nice little flower, which looks like whichever flower that you feel it looks like. Chrysanthemum, tuberose, whichever. <laughs> Maybe you want to just take out the water and arrange it so. There, you have a wonderful appetizer made with potatoes, cumin, salt, sugar, lime juice, and cilantro, and garlic, which is, in, uh, which is encased into a puff pastry sheet. And uh, what you can call it is pretty pa potato puffs. Pretty potato puffs or samosa for you.